sweet 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 scalp kill trust me yeah not definitely yeah definitely not the least <laughs> but yeah the last thing i'm going to be doing this new money in taurus bidding for i'm going to be channeling the new money in taurus energy okay for my sweet 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 scalp kill I have a sort of knowledge to like cleanse my timeline with this selling my crystal. All right, baby, let's jump into your reading, shall we? Thank you, so Thank you so, so much for strength to get to this point. Thank you. I'm grateful. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to channel messages from my beautiful, beautiful Taurus. Okay, now let's go into your reading. Thank you, Spirit. What's the message from Spirit from my beautiful Scorpio for this new one in Taurus? Okay, baby. Ooh, let them go. Let them go. You might have cancer placements. You don't have to. Okay? You might have cancer placements. Okay, so it's pretty saying this new moon for you is feeling more like a full moon. Which makes sense considering that if you look at it astrologically, you are the sister sign to Taurus. Remember, we have like a not note in Taurus. So, a new moon in Taurus, which signifies a new beginning, a new path, a new direction, will definitely require some release from old ways, which is the south node, right? You need to unplug. You need to unplug the sink for things to flow out. So that all the things that be stagnant, all the things that are old, that, are old, that have gone past the expiry dates, that have gone past their usefulness, so that they can flow out through the drain, okay? So Spirit is saying, unplug your drain. Let all those old things, old patterns, old ways of seeing yourself, old ways of connecting with the earth, old ways of embracing yourself, old ways of nurturing yourself, old ways of fulfilling your needs, old ways of sustaining your needs and like filling your cup. Let all those old ways and old patterns go, like let it flow down the drain, okay? So let's see. Okay. So some of this also be some of this is also I thanks for joining me like some of this is also in relation to your emotional relationships. So for some of you, you might have been in conflict with someone else with your with your partner with another party. You might have had an emotional disagreement. Okay, you might have had an emotional disagreement, and like you exchange words. And you cannot at this point in time you cannot actually repair the the relationship so the best thing for you to do is to let the relationship go okay so that's the first thing the second thing is to let go of the idea that you don't need help we all need help you are never doing anything alone. let go of the idea that you are doing life alone that you, are, you don't have support that you have to figure out everything by yourself okay your angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides are always around you, leaning in, listening to you. Even the slightest request you make for help, and then they send the help your way. But you need to open your mouth to ask for help. You need to open your mouth to let them know that you know that they are there to support you. Don't struggle through things you have no business struggling through alone. There's a reason why you have people who have gone ahead of you. There's a reason why you have a support team. There's a reason why you have spirit guides. There's a reason why you're not just human. You have your spiritual nature, right? So that's the second thing you need to release. And the third thing you need to release is your giving away your power not standing fully in your power being afraid to really really be all of you really being afraid to take up the space you deserve being afraid to really really embody the authority that is inherent in you because you think that it's going to kind of like 
be too much for people to witness. But Spirit is saying, that's who you are. If you don't claim your authority, if you don't claim your authenticity, <laughs> you just authenticity. <laughs> if you don't claim your authenticity, authenticity, nobody's going to claim it for you. Only you know who you are, so you really need to stand in your power. So let's go of your fear of seeking external validation i'm hearing let go of your fear of not being enough let go of your fear of requiring external recognition and give it to yourself first okay you yourself you have to see yourself as the queen of power you have to see yourself as being powerful before anyone else can see as being powerful you have to see yourself as being able to harness the power of your emotions being able to harness the power of your intuition being able to harness the power of your connection to the unseen realm because you are copying your water sign right you are ruled by pluto emotions are your playground transformation being able to transmute and transform emotion it's like play thing for you it's like child's play to you but if you don't take control of that gift if you don't take control of that gift then you're not going to be able to use it as powerfully as you should you use it quite all right because it's part and parcel of who you are it's how you live through life you live to transmit and transform emotions either for yourself if you're not doing it for yourself then you find yourself doing it for others around you okay or you find people projecting their emotions on you for you to transmit and transform unknowingly so it's up to you to take control of your story by knowing that this is what you're capable of and really really now setting it up to enhance your life powerfully i'm hearing okay because the more you stand in your power, the more it's going to bring you the success you desire. The more it's going to give you, bring you the actual recognition you desire. The more you stand in your power of knowing who you are, of knowing what you're capable of, of knowing what you actually bring to the table. The more you then embrace the power of who you are. But if you're a queen... <laughs> And you for I don't know you're a queen. Maybe like for example, maybe you were kidnapped when you were a child, and you grew up as a pauper, as a maid. <laughs> Except someone tells you you're a queen, you won't know. You just keep being a maid. So this is your reminder, like you're a queen. You like you have so much power, but it's up to you to harness that power to create changes in your physical reality, which is really the true essence of being a Scorpio. You are able to plumb the depths of the unseen world, take and gather up the raw material, which is in form of raw emotions, raw energy, and then transform it into something that serves you in the physical realm. So stop running away from your power, baby. Okay? Let's see. What does your body want you to know? Because this is a new one in Taurus. Okay, okay, okay. There's always a good reason to start again, okay? And you are the phoenix. Never be afraid of releasing and restarting. Never be afraid of burning everything to the ground and restarting because that's your power, your ability to plumb the depths of your emotion, your ability to transform from the very bottom. What other people see as being impossible, what other people see as being too tough, what other people see as being too difficult. Where others see there is no way, you know that there is a way. You know that except something is fully broken down, you are never able to rebuild it properly, okay? So your body wants you to acknowledge the growth that's going in, but you also need to acknowledge that what is out of keeping or what puts you in a state of ill health is simply calling your attention to what you've not been paying attention to, okay? So if it feels like there's disease, there's illness, there's some affliction, there's some malaise, there's some fatigue in your body. Know that that is calling you and inviting you in to sit with it so you can really, really understand where that is coming from. So either you refuse to give yourself time to breathe, 
time for your body to rest as required so you have stored up fatigue and stress and sort of stress weakens your immune system okay well however it is spirit is just bringing me back to the fact that you of all people know that for if there's a breaking down it simply means there's opportunity to build again. I'm also hearing something about your glucose control, so make sure you check out your glucose, okay? Okay, pay attention to your head. Nobody can treat you as you deserve, okay? Oops. If you don't give yourself what you deserve, nobody else can give it to you, my love. If you don't give yourself what you deserve, nobody else can give it to you. And you also need to work on your solar chakra. So work on your solar chakra, work on your root chakra. Your solar chakra will help you to boost your confidence in accepting yourself. Confidence comes with time and practice. You need to consistently put yourself in positions that require you to be confident about who you are and what you bring to the table, okay? Your root chakra will also help you to stay connected to the source of all life, which is consciousness your root chakra will keep you connected deeply connected deeply rooted deeply grounded so that you have a sense of belonging so that you feel secure when you feel secure then you're able to demand for what you know you deserve because you know like you have something that already feels you you already have, you have a place you belong to right so you are not just lost at sea so knowing you have a place you belong to knowing you have a root Knowing you have roots deeply embedded and entrenched, knowing that you are secure is going to help you to ask for what you truly deserve in life. And then you are the only one who can give yourself what you deserve. So you have to recognize that for yourself. So step one, work on your solar chakra so that you are more confident, so that you are more self-aware so that you're more self-conscious so you're more self-accepting when you do that then you'll be able to work on your root chakra so that you deepen your connection to the earth so that you deepen your connection so that you are grounded okay although i'm hearing you should work on your root chakra before your solar chakra so work on your root chakra so that you deepen your connection to the earth so that you are grounded so that whatever comes up you know you are secure you are deeply secure in your connection to the earth knowing that you got you so you trust yourself when you do that that is going to help you boost your solar chakra so that you can speak up for yourself so it can be more confident so that you can let your light shine okay let's see i already told you this new moon is really really like a full moon for you scorpio all right let's see final message for my beautiful scorpios how can they align this more abundance with this new moon in taurus So first card, you need to meditate. You need to ground your energy, okay? Grounding your energy. Meditation is not just sitting in stillness and looking at a blank spot on the wall. Meditation is when you are in your body, like when you are conscious. You might be doing dishes. You might be cooking. You might be cleaning. But are you present? Meditation simply means you are present in that moment. Like you are conscious and aware of every inhale and every exhale your mind is not running in 30 different directions trying to think of different things like you are in your body you can feel your breath you are conscious of your breath you know how long your breath is for you know how long each breath is for right you can feel the way your breath is flowing through your nostrils through your lungs and going through every cell in your body you can hear your heart beat okay by the time you slow down and come back into your body that's going to help you to really really slow down and reconnect to the essence of yourself reconnecting with your essence always 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 positions you to align with the abundance that's already laid out for you okay 
So you also need to stop fighting. So your two cards to help to know how to call Allah is more abundance. Meditation, ground your energy, ground, do a lot of breath work, call your attention back to your breath, slow down. And the second one is stop fighting. Be very, very clear of the energy you're putting out into the world. Are you fighting or like, are you breaking things down? Are you fighting or are you building? Because the energy you put into the world is what is going to come back to you multiply. So if you're, thank you for joining me, like, so if you're in a place of, oh, you're always fighting, you're always like very, you know, you want to like, oh, serve everybody that do justice, oh, treat your fuck ups, treat them how they treated you. You're only going to keep getting that energy back multiplied to you because that's the energy you're putting out into the world. But when you approach the world with peace, when you approach your interactions with peace, when you approach the people in your life with peace, of trying to, of, because it, it's not even about not fighting with them. It's about honoring yourself enough to know that you deserve to be in a state of peace instead of in a state of conflict and chaos and fights. So if you love yourself, if you honor yourself, then you know that you deserve peace and you don't allow anybody to steal your peace. So the more you stay in a place of peace, the more you center and ground yourself with peace, the more you attract peace towards you. Do you understand? That's our life work. The more energy, the energy you entertain is the energy that continues to come back to you. What you put out is what you get back. Okay? All right, my beautiful Scorpio. That was your reading for the new moon in Taurus. Okay? Let me know in the comment section how this message resonated. Do like, repost, share so that other Scorpios will find this video and be able to get some some good news and be able to get the information that will help them align. Now help them align with this level of abundance that's flowing all around us, okay? All right, baby. And if you're looking to book your reading with me, please visit my website. Link is in bio. Link is in bio. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm done. Ciao. <laughs>